Boris Johnson was last night warned older voters will desert him unless he takes urgent action to help them make ends meet. Dame Esther Ranson said senior citizens face choosing between heating and eating as they battle against rocketing energy bills and pensions that lag behind inflation. Campaigners called for a rise in the state pension to be brought forward from April to January or an emergency cash payment of £250 to help millions struggling with the cost of charities warned of an impending national emergency without urgent intervention. Silver Voices said the older generation feels betrayed and warned our votes can no longer be taken for granted by any political party. Director Dennis Reed said the government must introduce the 3.1 percent increase in the state pension within weeks instead of months. In an open letter to the Prime Minister, the final straw for many of our members was the decision to suspend the triple lock on state pensions for 2022, despite firm and high-profile manifesto promises to the contrary. This short-sighted and mean-spirited decision has left millions of struggling pensioners at the mercy of soaring energy prices and the cost-of-living crisis. Our promised 3.1 percent state pension increase in April may only be half the prevailing rate of it. The organization also warned the government it must take action in a raft of other areas to win back the trust of older voters. It is opposed to plans to raise the age senior citizens start receiving free prescriptions to 66 from 60 and said the winter fuel payment is being allowed to wither on the vine because it will not keep pace with inflation. Silver Voices also raised concerns about the difficulties older people are having trying to secure a face-to-face -face appointment with a GP and criticized social care reforms for failing to put an end to people having to sell their homes. Mr. Reed added. We need urgent action on pensions and benefits to support senior citizens through the cost of living crisis, and a genuine national rescue plan for health and social care. Promises, sound bites, and strategies are no longer enough. Trust has to be earned, through action, to address all the issues identified in this open letter. The government suspended the triple lock to save the Treasury £5 million. We'll